Hey everyone, and welcome back. A little while ago on Twitter, uh, there's this woman I follow called Thea Flowers, and I hope I pronounced her name properly. She was doing an AMA, uh, Ask Any Question, Stupid or Not, and I asked on that post, what would be the lowest cost synthesizer just to get my feet wet? And she suggested I try the Atari Punk Console. So that's what these things are here. I've got it breadboarded and I've got it on a circuit board from PCB Way. I had to do a little research and when I took a look at the circuit, it's basically uh, two 555 timers, which you guys should have in stock, and if not, they're very inexpensive, or one 556 timer, which is basically two triple five timers together. So all you really need is the triple five timers, a couple resistors, a couple potentiometers, um, a capacitor, a couple of capacitors, and uh, a breadboard, and a speaker, and you can make it work. It seemed like there was about 40 different variations of this circuit. So it seems like no matter what kind of components you have in your junk bin, uh, you can make it work for yourself too. I chose my design very carefully because one of the problems with a lot of the designs is that uh, you actually short out the output um, through the discharge pin, I believe, of the triple five timer. And so I added these 1K resistors here. Also, the circuit I found you need a 500k potentiometer, uh, but these 200k pots that I found uh, in my junk bin work just fine, but I did order the 500k ones for the final build. It also operates over a wide range of voltages. I think 9 volts is the most common, but we're going to try it. We're going to try my circuit specifically on a whole range of voltages. So let me just get this speaker plugged in. You zoomed in a little bit and we'll see what this thing sounds like. So here we are all hooked up. Um, take your time and do the connections, double check everything. Uh, there's not that many connections, but you know, for me to show you here on the breadboard, it's very difficult for you to see where it's connected. So I'm, I'm sure you can do this yourself. You just need to be a bit patient and connect the right things at the right spots. Um, so again, this is with the 200K pots uh, here, and we're gonna try it at nine volts. So here we go. I'm going to try not to talk because I'm going to have to bring down the volume. I'm not sure how loud it's going to be, but I think it's pretty loud. So there it is. So it's called the Atari Punk Console because it's supposed to sort of emulate the types of noises you would get from the Atari console back in the day. So if you are too young to know what the Atari is, um, it's like the equivalent of your PlayStation 5, but if it was a PlayStation, uh, you know, negative 10 or something like that, it's, a, it's an old console. Um, and if you go back and play some of the original games, you might be a little surprised with uh, what we called entertainment back in the day. Um, also, don't try the E.T. game. It is terrible. So um, if you want sort of like a circuit uh, explanation of how this works, I can definitely look that up for you and see if I can make a video, but you're going to have to let me know in the comments below. I think the basis is that one triple five timer is, um, you know, making the other one sort of like cutting it on and off at a certain frequency. And when those frequencies mesh, that's when you get the those kind of uh, steps, discrete steps you're hearing. But that's not really why you're here. Uh, I made a PCB for PCB way for this console. And so let me show you because it is a thing of beauty. As always, the unboxing is the, oh, you can probably see what this is. I'm gonna hide this one from you because it is this one here we're after. This one here is for a future video. Make sure you're subscribed for that one. So I'm actually excited to open these 
especially because I noticed I have made a mistake on my PCB design, which is now fixed, but I'm not sure if it was when I was messing with it after I ordered or if it was the uh, component that the, the thing I ordered. Yeah, okay, it is this one is wrong, so it's gonna need a bodge wire between here and here. Basically, yeah, I messed that up. But these are beautiful boards. These are in the new uh, purple color option. So yeah, basically here it is. You got uh, power in, speaker out. You've got a uh, couple resistors. So 680 ohms. Um, did I not put the value? Oh yeah, I had to fix that too. Uh, 300 ohms, which is actually supposed to be 330. Fix that in the final two. And then the 500k pots on either side. And I think because I love triple five timers so much, I think I'm going to put sockets in here. So I guess it's going to be some sort of a, you know, time lapse or sort of a montage. But yeah, I'm going to have to connect uh, this pin here. I think that's pin four on the triple five with pin eight on the triple five. So is that it? Four, seven, eight? I think so. So let's uh, solder this up and see if this thing works. I just wanted you to visualize here how few components we're talking about and a lot of these components are not even necessary. So we've got the two triple five timers, these two sockets are extra, these two um, uh, terminals uh, which will go here and here, those are extra, you can solder right to the board. These knobs are extra, you don't really need them on the potentiometers. And I added a status LED with uh, this 680 ohm uh, resistor and this red LED. So yeah, you don't need this many components. It will make a nice, clean, tiny build. Let's get building. Well, here it is, um, complete with a genuine bodge wire. I'm not happy about that, so that's why I fixed it. So the, the version you order from PCBWay, if you do, will have that fix as well as, as a lot of these labels. Um, yeah, don't order PCBs in the middle of the night. Uh, I have brought you along, though, for the inserting of the chips. So first things first is I'm going to straighten the pins with this beautiful tool that uh, Larry had sent me. And he had told me to tell you guys to uh, send him an email if you wanted some of these. And I think he was only charging for shipping, but it seems like nobody reached out to him. Or not many? Don't know. Anyways, it's a beautiful tool. I still use it. I had to put your name on the back, Larry, because uh, I am getting old and forgetful. And I don't want to insult anybody by not remembering who sent me stuff. Anyways, pins are straightened, maybe a little over straightened. I believe this is really a tool for uh, get stuff into breadboards easier. No, actually no, it fits perfect in the socket. There we go. Just a little bit of finagling needed. 
doesn't help that my hands don't work very well because it's cold down here and I'm getting old get in there what also doesn't help is that these uh, sockets are the cheapest things I could possibly find on eBay there we go both are in now we just need to hook up our speaker and our uh, power supply we're gonna supply this at 9 volts I don't know. Is that about, about even? I don't know. Pop these knobs on. And it looks like we're going to be ready to rumble. All hooked up and I have not done a smoke test yet, so corn tacked. Okay, nothing's going bad. I'm going to turn this on. There we go. Um, so, I hope you guys enjoy it. I really hope that you guys will try the circuit out on your own. If not, I mean, order some PCBs and uh, take a look at that. Uh, and I hope that you guys will start making some odd noises as well. I believe if we just drop the voltage here, I'm gonna set it down to five volts. Whoops, two volts, nope. Uh, v set 5 enter I believe the noise level goes down so let's see if that's true it does a little bit it does change the frequency too it seems so yeah Pretty interesting stuff. Uh, thank you PCBWay for sponsoring this video. And uh, yeah, go ahead and uh, check out these PCBs. You can download them for free at the link below. Oh yeah, and thank you Thea for the awesome project idea. You should go check out uh, her socials and her website and stuff in the description below. Thanks for watching.